I'm back to UBC Lunchtime News and in more stories, welders, share butter and poultry in Muga savings and credit cooperatives in Albertong and Dokolo districts in northern Uganda are empowering youth and women through the Emuga Seed Fund and of course the initiative is fostering economic growth and employment transforming lives in the Langi and Acholi communities. The initiative uh, is inspiring and the inspiring journeys of Ogwal Bosco Nyoni, Vincent Odaga and Grace Abalo highlight the dedication and entrepreneurial spirit driving financial independence and community development. White has a detailed report on the story. In Dokolo District, a water town council, the Dokolo North Wilders and Yoga Circle stands out as an exceptional enterprise fostering youth employment. This initiative empowers members to save and invest in other income generating ventures such as hardware through the Imyoga Seed Fund of 50 million shillings. Ogwal Bosco Nyonyi, the circle chairperson, shares his inspiring journey, revealing that he earns over 5 million shillings weekly. His commitment to saving 50,000 shillings daily has significantly empowered him economically. As a dog now, I'm a boss. I'm offering my own business. Eh? So I'm a boss. Eh? I'm also... I'm also employing others, other, other people to work. Even I'm training another people, those who want to know what the welding. In Oyolwak village, Akura Parish in the district of Alebtong, Vincent Odaga, a father of eight, invested his one million shillings in yoga money into poultry project. His family is doing financially well. The yoga money has helped us great deal. One. This house here, this is a smaller house. I have a record of using the other. The chicken you are seeing here, I have raised them using the other. His daughter Daphne Achen, a 21 year old woman, is living her dream after she has been also successfully completed her nursing course and is proud to be the only nurse in her sub county. She plans to open her own drug shop. Because of this project, as you can see me here, I can look small, but I'm done with my, my nursing. Because since I started my studies, I have been, they've been selling this chicken to pay my tuition. I've been not having any challenge in over tuition or what because of this in Yoga. It has really helped me. Grace Abalo, chairperson of the Moroto Women Entrepreneurs and Yoga Circle in Kai Parish, leads 32 associations involved in various income generating ventures, including piggery and sheer nut butter processing. These initiatives are transforming the lives of rural communities in Aleptong district. Our lives are changed. Even we are helping our husbands, our children to ensure that the wage, the, the, the weight, the, the wage of the uh, expenses that our husbands and our spouses has been encouraging. We are stepped in as women and supporting them. Now they are happy and we also ha we are happy. These things fight uh, domestic violence that we are normally have before. But now we are okay. The family are in peace. Even the children are enjoying. The success story highlights the transformative impact of the Nyoga Seed Fund driving financial independence and growth among the youth and women in Langi and Acholi communities. Mary Namkose, Robert Boita, UBC News.